this. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, first of all, for inviting me. And uh, I was just listening to the previous speakers and, uh, you know, very impressed by the quality of, uh, you know, the experiences and so on. So uh, thank you for such a, uh, su su such an honorable introduction. I forgot that I wrote it myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I, you know, my name is Shubo and I've been in, uh, my background is advertising. You know, I started in the 90s and, uh, you know, advertising, marketing, both on the agency side and the <coughs> client side. I've worked for, you know, large agencies, large brands, the world's biggest brands and so on. Currently, yes, I'm with the government. I, uh, I, I kind of uh, uh, enhance the digital content, the narrative for various government ministries, departments and so on. So, you know, that's what I do more, more or less. And uh, okay, so the... How much do, uh, time do I have? About 10 minutes. Is that right? About 9.10. It's about 9.01 right now. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you know, transmedia storytelling is what we used to call in advertising. I mean, still do integrated uh, marketing in a sense, integrated storytelling. So you have, you know, a plethora of, uh, you know, devices these days, you know, uh, to tell various aspects of the story. And I will not get into that. I think the previous speakers have, you know, done a very good job of, you know, kind of uh, fragmenting the different uh, platforms that you have. Uh, so, you know, I will just speak briefly about uh, my experience of being, uh, you know, when we used to do storytelling in the 90s. Uh, and it's not that it's completely changed. It was a very, it was a very, uh, you know, uh, linear kind of storytelling. You know, you started from point A uh, and you went to point B and then you went to point C and so on, right? And uh, it, it was a very two plus two, four kind of uh, progression, okay? So, you know, the story stories would be, I mean, if you look at a television commercial, for example, the stories would be initially, there would be some little bit of suspense and then there would be a build up, and then would be a crescendo and then there would be a drop, you know, and then there would be a reveal at the end. So that was traditional storytelling and, you know, more or less whatever medium you kind of consumed in those days in the 90s, it was more or less the same, right? Everyone kind of imitated each other. Now what has happened is uh, because of the plethora of digital devices, which, you know, have short attention span, long attention span, and, you know, so on and so forth, all that has kind of gone for a toss. So, you know, there are platforms where you seem to be starting the story from the middle or even from the end, right? It's no longer a linear, you know, hero grows up, there's this anti-hero, there's this heroine, then there's the story, then there's a reveal. So, you know, that has gone for a toss, you know, primarily because of these digital mediums. I mean, you have to tell a story in 30 seconds these days on Instagram Reels. I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? It's, I mean, it's not even YouTube. You know, nobody cares about a story. I mean, the, the, the younger, the new generation of digital natives, right? They're used to stories which are told in one minute. And I grew up a story where we used to, I mean, I come from an age where you used to uh, wait for, a, you know, some whatever, short story or cartoon or whatever for a week, sometimes for a month, right? Uh, so, you know, the, the technology has changed storytelling hugely, you know, technology has changed everything. But, you know, what I want to the, speak about, and this is my second point, is uh, what is at the core of storytelling? You know, whether you are talking about analog storytelling or digital storytelling or anything in between, to my mind, it's values, right? It's a set of, you know, values, which kind of, uh, you know, which are interpreted on, in different ways on different platforms, right? Uh, it's it's not about, not about the story really. It's about the values. So uh, if you're looking at, uh, I mean, a lot of political parties use this transmedia storytelling these days, right? So they're all trying to kind of uh, 
push or sell one particular ideology, right? And what you think are news announcements, etc., basically ideology, right? So, and you might have seen, you know, in recent times, uh, what is it, uh, you know, in 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 you know, as as a particular state and North India, UP went to elections. Suddenly, these you know, uh, communal kind of things started breaking out, right? In different platforms, you know, different stories on different platforms. So somewhere it was a hijab story, somewhere else it was, I mean, in New Delhi where I live right now, it's, it's you know, clothes, meat shops or something, you know, different stories. And I, I, I am seeing a lot of Instagram, you know, 30 second reels pushing a particular, you know, narrative you know, communal narrative, right? They're very slick, very well edited. Uh, the story is the same. It goes back to the same if you go back, right? It's about the same values, you know? I will not go into whether it's a good value or a bad value. Right? That's for you to figure out. But, you know, that is what is happening, right? Uh, so I, I, I'm, we are all, you know, in this, in this virtual room, we're all very, uh, live in very interesting times where technology and values are kind of, crisscrossing each other, telling stories uh, for different audiences. Uh, it, it's become very, very fragmented, you know, as any media observer will tell you. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's no longer about, you know, what I used to do in advertising, which is basically sell a car or a soap or a t-shirt or, a, you know, a pair of shoes, whatever, you know, the core value of the car is the same, right? If it's a Volvo, it's about safety, it's about, you know, trust, dependency, and so on. And you see, you, you talk about a Volvo in different ways. You do, you know, print, you do television, you do, you know, etc. You do an actual live demo, but it's all about how safe a Volvo car is, right? Uh, and you do it for different geographies and age groups, of course, right? But now, uh, you know, the Volvo car is, uh, I don't know, the left or the right or, you know, some other uh, political ideological persuasion, right? So that's what the Volvo car has become, right? And, uh, you know, you, you choose your platform where you can talk about a particular value the best in the particular, you know, uh, boundaries you have of time or, you know, anything else. So I find that very interesting. You know, there are so many similarities with, uh, you know, uh, advertising from 100 years back, right? It's just the technology is so obtrusive. You know, it has changed the way we tell stories completely. Um, it's it's no longer the, you know, I mean, if, if you had to tell the uh, story of the Mahabharata. Now, it's it's no longer about, about, you know, the way we heard it from our grandmothers, you know. I, I don't know. It, it, someone might say, listen, I'm, I'm just interested in, you know, what Krishna tells Arjun. For me, that's the Mahabharata and I want that in a 30-second capsule, you know. That's, that's the way that, uh, you know, a 16-year-old will consume the Mahabharata, right? And someone might say, you know, listen, I, I, I don't even... I, I want a very slow build up for 20 minutes, right? For me, that's the Mahabharata or, or through a dance drama or, you know, something else. So, you know, it's all very, very fragmented and there are no rules. And tomorrow, all this is going to change. There'll be a new wave of technology where storytelling, trans, you know, whatever you call it, is going to change completely again, right? So my, uh, you know, uh, suggestion to you know listeners, especially young uh, <coughs> people on this uh, on this on this uh, webinar is you know uh, technology is going to keep changing and your narratives are going to keep changing. But what is at the core of storytelling is you know values. You know whether you're a political party or whether you're you know selling a product or individual or reporting or whatever it is. You know so. If you understand the values, then you want, then you can tell a good story. So, you know, it's not about a story, it's about, you know, 